two days, baby. Battle Bunker Flagship Competition, our very first competition. This is a full day, 12 hours of events. And it's gonna get intense between the competitors. I saved up this whole year to give away the $20,000 cash. We have zero paying sponsors. All of this is done by us. Hunter is here, he's the race director. So this is a shout out to all you athletes. I want you to understand that I've been doing this for 10, 11 years professionally. We've brought together all of these ideas of events that I've experienced throughout the past decade plus, And I've tried to bring it into something and really create a day that you guys are really gonna be able to engage from a strength and a stamina and an athletic capacity. You know, we're talking about stamina. You got that triple R, the ruck run row. And then you're coming out to FUBAR. That's really like 100 pounds can feel like a million pounds if you really are putting work to it, guys. So it's gonna be super intense. And then last but not least, guys, the true athleticism of this course is built right here, the Hybricon. This is a course that has really been designed where it's three lanes, where every single lane is meant to get more intense. And the score of your athleticism is the score that you actually get to in the course. There's gonna be some athletes for sure that finish it, but every single year we want you guys to be able to come back and test yourself against this. And the course is gonna continue to grow. And the sport's gonna continue to grow. And what we're creating here today, guys, is a seed. It's gonna become a massive tree. It's gonna become an impactful, thing inside of the athletic community and I really want you guys to understand show up and do your absolute best and make the biggest impact in the athletic community so that other people see and other people come and other people watch really if you think about this guys this is all about spreading and growing the athletic community so if you show up and give your absolute best the world is going to notice and this is going to get way way better so I'm so grateful that you guys are coming um, I'm so grateful for my team back here I'm grateful for the guys behind the camera but we're gonna put on a show but first of all we couldn't do it without you so thank you so much and uh, we'll see you guys on race day and race your heart out and get to the finish line as fast as possible and throw some smiles around if you can so what we're doing is we have to get 5,270 pounds of sand because we have 64 backpacks 35 sandbags let's do it baby I have all the those sands you wanted I can't take that much sand. My truck can't handle it. I know, it. we're going to split it up. You think 2,500 pounds is good enough? I can't so, even. So I, can, the, I can hit 1,200 pounds on the back of that thing. That's it? Yeah, because okay. it's got racing suspension. you got 14 inches of travel. So if I literally go off a jump, that, that wheel will shoot 14 inches down. Can you deliver today? You cannot purchase 105 bucks and took 25 now. Purchase as we go? Yes. <laughs> There's whole holes in all of these things, by the way. So we just are gonna have to isolate the bags that have holes in them. So let's grab 50 of these. Like we don't necessarily have to have sand, it can be any type of weight. So let's have them forklift whatever this pallet is off. Two more pounds of sand, two more pounds! Yeah, we're in its way, 35 pounds. Just hold it, just hold it, just hold it. Yeah. All right, behind me we have 5,250 pounds of weight between gravel and sand. We got the sand from Home Depot. We bought the really thick, quick gravel. So pretty much all day we've been filling these things. We have women's backpacks or women's rucks, which are filled with 35 pounds of gravel and sand a piece. We have women's sandbags that are 70 pounds a piece. We have men's rucks, which are 50 pounds a piece. Those are a little more easy because we just dropped a 50 pound sandbag in there. These athletes, you know, coming up in two days on Saturday, October 29th, they're gonna be having to move a lot of weight these rucks are going to be used throughout a two mile ruck. They're going to drop the rucks. They're going to row 2000 meters on these rowers. We have 32 rowers that we have to load tomorrow. And then they're going to sprint 800 meters for the food bar, which is event number two. They're going to have to use these sandbags. They have 40 total reps, um, 20 sandbag cleans and 20 sandbag front squats. It's tough, but in the middle of that, in between each round, they're going to have to travel with the sandbag men, it's going to be 100 pounds. Women, it's going to be 70 pounds. We just measured each one of these out concisely with a pretty accurate scale that we were using. 
and it's it's going to be on Saturday. It's going to be a tough competition day. It's about fifteen thousand dollars in gear. It took me two or three months to get five or six prototypes of the backpacks in, five or six prototypes of the sandbags in, and to land on a brand that we felt was suitable for this competition. Again, these bags are going to have to survive, you know, forty times six, so two hundred and forty reps. They have to be strong. The bags, probably about five or six thousand paces through that two miles and they have to be tough as well they have to be able to hold up we have some gear sponsors till Valhalla project has picked in some shirts great company with a great mission they're supplying all the competitors with shirts we have mud gear which is giving away socks ruck socks for the athletes and competitors we have a few gear sponsors uh, Lenny and Larry's we have fatty beef sticks and few others which I'm super grateful and super thankful for but zero monetary sponsors this competition has costed by the end it'll be about 55 yeah around fifty five thousand dollars so I'm just glad I'm in a position to be able to do that it's a very stressful event but we're gonna get it done baby and I'm excited hope you guys enjoy it <laughs>